Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to get creative and talk about the creative things that we're going to do because dang nabbit this is my August creative to do's or my August to be created TBC I don't know how cute I want to get with these things but let's let's get to the bottom of all this shall we so I made a list of the things that I am planning on creating um, this month so um, first off is the second issue of the blood rag um, which is my um, poetry sheet um, that I do. The first one had four poets on it. This one is going to have six on it. Um, and I should actually have that done and available by the end of the day. So we'll see how that goes. Next would be every month I put out a chapbook. Um, that's kind of been the thing for the last year and a half now. I think one month I missed like earlier this year, I missed a month. Oh, but um, the the type hard books, um, the poetry on writing um, chat books, these I already put together last summer when I started doing the Poetic Anarchy class. And I never made physical copies of them. I just had the digital versions that I sent to everybody. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the next three this month. So um, type fast, type daily, and type drunk. Um, so those will be the chapbook that I put out this month. So that's next on the list. And then I have another chapbook, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little hint here. This isn't my chapbook. I'm publishing somebody else's chat book. So um, I need to get that finished and squared away. So I will, I think I'm gonna print those out today. And um, there's a little, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it when I do it, but there's some shipping back and forth things that need to happen for that to, to go ahead and go. Aha. Uh -huh. Then there is the next Poetic Anarchy book, Volume 3. Um, I have all the content for it. I just need to put it together. So um, that'll be awesome. And it's going to have... Because the last two Poetic Anarchy books had five poets in it, each one. And I think this one's going to have... Um, don't quote me, but I think eight. Eight poets. Some of them with a lot of stuff, some of them with just one or two. Um, so that, that'll that be fun. Um, and that is basically going to encompass all the poets who worked on the free workshop that we did at the beginning of last month. So that's going to be awesome. As far as short fiction goes, um, I have two collections of short stories that I've been kind of just sitting on, haven't really done anything with and haven't really put them together. I know these ones go here and these ones go here, but I haven't actually like formatted the manuscript or anything for that. So um, I'm going to do at least one of those. I might do both of them. I don't know when both of them would come out, but I'm going to do both of those. So that's this month's job too. And then I might actually try to put together... Um, another poetry collection like Fingering the Mundane or The End of Everything, like a bigger book. Um, hopefully one with new poems that I haven't put out anywhere, so that would be interesting. Um, I'm going to go through and see if that's a thing. I'm also going to um, put together the rest of the year's um, chapbooks, like... Um, at least schedule them like so I know what book I'm putting out in September October November December and I think I figured that out and um, I will have more of a 
when I have more tangible proof of this concept, I will let you guys know about that then. So I think that's all for writing and publishing. So then um, as far as music, um, I want to start recording the next Creeperson album. I have um, the songs picked out for it. Um, I have, I've been practicing, so everything should go according to plan here. So I will put that together. That would be, that, that will be quite interesting. So um, I don't have to finish the whole recording this month, but if I did, good, you know. It just depends on how smooth the recording process is. Because, like, if things start getting bumpy and all this other stuff, then I will lose um, excitement for it, and it'll be a harder process. And I don't like things to be hard when I'm creating, so I normally push stuff off when I feel like a pressure from things. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I might go ahead and record the third Goodbye Hope EP, which is called um, Dying to Live Through the Perfect Willingness to Die. Um, so that's funny. And this is like the, the Empire Strikes Back, if you will, of the Goodbye Hope saga um which means it is gonna get darkest before dawn kind of thing i don't know if i'll put that out this month i might put that off until september yeah i'm, I'm not 100 percent on that i don't know how i'm gonna do that yet and then as far as um filming like uh filmmaking goes I started um, making my short film that I have to have turned in by, I want to say the 28th of August. I'm not not entirely sure if that's the correct date. But um, yeah, so that'll take like an afternoon to shoot the rest of the stuff that I need to shoot for it. And then probably a day or two of editing and color correcting. Um, I'm going to have to do the music for it, too. So that'll probably take, I don't know, like a day to get on here and make keyboard sounds and shit. But the thing with when I'm editing these shorts that I've noticed has been happening is that I'll make an edit of the short and then I can't tell what's good and what's not. So I have to like close the program down and go move off and do something else for a couple days. And then I'll come back to it and watch it again and with like fresh eyes and go, oh, I need to make all these cuts here. So that takes a few days. So this actually is something I should probably get to sooner rather than later. So, um, We'll see how that goes. Um, and then I guess just like just like as far as channel goals, um, which is still creative because I'm creating content here and all that stuff, I would really like to get to 1,600 subs. I think I'm like 10 or 12 away from that right now. Um, I have been hovering in this um, this weird little pond um, in between like 1565 and 1575 for a couple months now and it's very um i'm like you know what fuck this i want to grow my channel dude like give me give me give me the subs damn it um and i'll have like a full blown party um getting to 1600 um and then as far as like the, the crew members and all that stuff, the Anarchy crew and all that stuff, I would love to double that this month. So um, I'm going to try to do what I could do to make that happen. And then um, Patreon, I need to post something. I think I'm going to put a PDF of one of my older chat books up there for my Patreon members. And... 
yeah, I guess that's it. I guess those are the things creatively that I'm going to do this month. So what are your goals for this month? What things are you um, striving to achieve? What are the things that you are um, cooking up in your kitchen? What bees do you have in your bonnet? What are you going to do? Let me know in the comments down below or make a creative to-do list yourself. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.